What's up, YouTube? We're going out, 4th of July. Happy 4th, everybody. God bless America. By God. Going out gold prospecting. Oh, my finger looks awful big right, John. Anywho, we're going to hit the old gold diggings today, and we're going to see what we can't come up with. Uh, anyhow, let's go get it. Yeah, boy! <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Here we are out here at the beautiful diggings. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. We'll be showing y'all some bedrock today. A big old beautiful fossil. That I'm not going to be able to get out, but I'd love to. Might have to come back with a slate bar and come get that puppy. Anyhow, got my sluice box, shovel. That'd be number two. Um, got my classifier, and I got my yabby pump. We'll be working some of that uh, bedrock that yabby pump trying to get out some of them cracks and crevices get down that good stuff stay tuned and we'll keep on going all right guys anybody that doesn't know what a yabby pump is this right here is a yabby pump think of it as an oversized doctor's syringe made this you can buy them for about 40 50 bucks i made this one for 20 out, out there at some good old home depot parts this stem actually goes up to about right here that way any material that gets sucked up doesn't fall right back out it goes up comes out of this point about right yonder and then it will fall back into this catch cup and start filling up right into here that way i don't lose as much gold you're going to lose a little certain percent but that's all right we'll go find a little bit more than we lose hopefully and then what i've been doing is running it through this here sluice box Scoop it in nice and slow. And all your heavies will start dropping out. See all your light stuff is washing right off the edge, down and out. And you can see there's probably some buckshot you can see down in there. Haven't seen any gold yet, but we've only run a half of a five gallon bucket. But we're going to keep on going and we'll see what we come up with. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Let's get out there and play in the creek and go find some gold. My name's James. You're definitely a different host. What can I say? Anyhow, let's go play in the creek, get a little dirty, and see what we can find. <laughs> That water sure feels good. Working along this all this good bedrock here, I managed to find a few fossils. I'm not sure what they are, but they're definitely something. If anybody knows anything about these, be sure to leave a comment. That looks like a piece of old fossilized tree, which I'll never be able to get out because it's still embedded in the host rock. There's a little piece of it I was able to get off there. But the rest of it, is in the still in the host rock. Anyhow, leave a comment if you know what this might be. And when you're out here mining, be sure to be on the lookout for some fallen trees. Look at all the good stuff it brings up. All kinds of quartz in there. These old tree roots have been catching everything up in them for many, many, many moons. So I'm going to get this stuff off here, get it in my bucket. And we'll see what we got.
found another amazing little piece of fossilized wood. Good old West Virginia. You never know what treasure she's going to give up to you. I'm often asked what I look for as indicators of an area that may contain gold. The number one things I look for are exposed bedrock. The gold is heavy and it will go to the bedrock and it can't go down no further. So I always look for bedrock. Then I look for quartz, like you see here. The gold is shot in the ground at the same time quartz is. So where you find quartz, there's a good chance you can find a little bit of gold. Another thing I look for is where the creek is depositing heavies, be it buckshot, lead shot, trash, whatever. I found an old bezel off of something. If anybody out there knows what this could be, please leave a message in my comments. Like being an old bezel to a bicycle, an old bezel to a car horn, I have no clue. But it's made out of metal and it's very heavy. That's where the creek deposits this. You're liable to find a little bit of gold as well. Now, enough jabbering. Let's get back to the diggings. I'm going to take this here trash out with me. Always take out more trash than you pack in. Please. Just cleaning up. Getting ready to go home. Probably run about 10 buckets full. Just now found this big old knucklehead of a piece of fossilized wood. That is a gorgeous one. We'll take it home and get him all cleaned up and see how she looks. Beautiful. Let's get ready and head on out. Ugh. There might be a little leech on there, little baby leeches. I don't know. Some kind of creepy crawly. What's going on everybody here we are back at the house paying through that stuff i got today happy fourth of july again by the way god bless america i'm going to show you what we got out of the pan a little bit of fine gold but it's good for west virginia hold on we'll be right back and we'll let you have a peek what's going on guys here we go after the cleanup nice little pile of fine gold there couple little flakes They're nice I am not even gonna begin to count these little flakes nor will I ever so if you all want to guess what they are how many of them's in there feel free if you like my adventures and want to see a few more of them be sure to like and subscribe Hit that little bell button so you don't miss a thing. But right there, folks, that is genuine West Virginia gold. Straight out the holler. That is a pretty little pile. I love it. We'll see you guys on the next one. God bless.